cottage seems to be a refuge for animals. Some of them we want, others not so much. Where is he? Oh, there, there. He wants out. Look. Okay, I didn't invite you. Let's let him in. Let him in. He'll slither right out the door, maybe. No, he won't. No, you don't think? Nick, yeah, you're so close. Oh my gosh. It's just another day on the island. We get a special amount of spiders here on this island. It's one of the beautiful features. I'm just going to sweep away the spiders so we can make these posts. Oh, there's one there. Don't, these are my new windows. We do not want you in here. A day in the life of a designer. Did you think that this is what I did? This is sometimes what I do. This has been a crazy journey. We never anticipated it would be as much work as it's been, but we are getting to the home stretch. Alex and I have done so much DIY, it's crazy. So I decided to vote myself off the island. I voted myself off the island, and today I am city bound to go meet with my marble supplier. I need to select some marble slabs that are gonna wrap around our new wood stove fireplace that's been installed and we're gonna wrap around that so we can wrap this up take it over the finish line and call this project done then I'm going to the office and I'm gonna check in and see what's happening on a whole bunch of other projects because we have some really exciting things happening now we have a chalet that we're renovating Ta-da! we have a modern farmhouse addition that's underway we have a new chalet build we have a house that's under renovation in the city along with a whole bunch of other things. So, let's do it. I'm Sarah, and every day my life revolves around design. This is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. First stop. Did I mention I brought my team? Ooh! I almost always come in here when it's winter. What's it gonna be? Come here. Sit, sit, pa, Everyone likes my team. So, we're gonna look for some material. Yep. Do you know what you're looking for? Well, I was trying to decide between quartz and marble, but I asked my friends to take a vote. Okay. I took a poll. Right. I guess what they chose. What did they choose? They chose marble. Marble. Okay, good. Marble is what I was going to steer you to. Okay. Because quartz, because this is a real fireplace, yeah. I don't think the quartz will stand up to that heat that the real fireplace, real fireplace generates. Oh, yeah. What would happen? Uh, we don't know, and I don't think we want to find out either. Because of, because the quartz has um, resin, resin right? in it, yeah. so it may melt it, it may discolor it, so we're better off sticking with natural marble. That's cool. Okay, what do you think? Where you, you showed me the colors, you got light in there, right? It's fairly light, like it's, everything else is pretty light. Not, not I, dark. I remember you saying that you don't, do you want it? What do you want the focal point to be? The fireplace or the surround? I think, I think the surround. That. The surround, you want it to yeah. be the focal point? Yeah, well, just not too wild. Okay. So what colors were you, uh, the room's pretty light. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. What? Girls, I'm really glad I voted us off the island. This is what's happening now. Daisy, come here. Come here, girl. Yeah, come here. Yes, that's right. My kids are shooting this episode. I'm still recording, mommy. Oh, it's okay. It's nice. Yeah, what else? What else you got, Julio? Make sure you get Julio in the picture, Rob. I am. I am. I'm a very experienced camera person. You are very. Ask a team to be a camera person. I'm good at it. You have to be careful you don't talk to him because you're supposed to be the camera person. Okay, I know. I will, I will shush now. I'm going to shush now. 
Oh, so mind. pretty. Has anybody else bought it since? Uh, a couple, yeah, actually. Yeah? yeah. We've yeah. sold some? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, 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 absolutely. There's this guy here. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of gorgeous. Is there anything with some veining? I have this guy here. Does it look too city, though? Oh look, I've got paint all over me from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. You like this? You think it looks like waves? Well, it's different because it's something you've never used before, but it looks like waves, yeah. Okay, this cool. is white fantasy. Hi, Daisy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what else? Yeah, yeah. Sarah. Sarah, yeah. this one here, yeah. because it had some problems in it, yes. I can give you a really what are the problems? Oh, Phil. I don't care about Phil. So this one is normally exotic, which means super... You can go for the close-ups later. Just, you gotta slow down. I'm a very experienced camera. <laughs> Earthquake! It's take your kids to work day! You're welcome. Um, this is not, hold on, I have to take a picture of this. Just this by the not way, like, not getting paid. Invisible blue is oh. exotic, which means normally super expensive, but there's some places here where it's been filled because of flaws, and we are happy to work around that to make it work for us. Awesome. This is pretty cool. Is this the one? I don't know if it's the one. Okay. Is there another thing to consider? Sure, sure. Because I'm not sure about the red. Alex would love that, it. This but example. Oh, Daddy would love that. This yeah. Example. Daddy would love that. I don't know if Daddy should know that there's red available. Now, this one looks a bit like rain. Or cobwebs. Or what? Cobwebs. cobwebs. No cobwebs. So is this a good option, Tony? I think so. I like it. But the difference is and it's going to go this like, way. Yes. Like, the veining will be vertical. You're sideways right now. You're floating. You're dancing on the ceiling. I like this color. Nice and natural. Taj Mahal. Beautiful stone. Just very hard to work with, very strong, dense stone, hard to cut. Well suited to a boat ride? Absolutely for a boat ride. It's got nice veining, nice movement. The thing is, it's going to be going this way. Mm -hmm. But it's got all these tones that are sort of good with the linen. But not too directional. I know what you're thinking. Can she just make up her mind? Listen, there's a lot to think about when it comes to selecting slabs of marble. And the other option is? One, they're big, expensive, one-of-a-kind pieces of natural stone. Two, once you buy them, you need to have them fabricated. Three, once they're fabricated, they need to be transported by truck, and in our case, by boat, all the way to the island. And lastly, once they reach the island, they need to be installed by professionals. So when it comes to choosing slabs, I think it's important to make sure you get exactly what you're looking for and feel confident that you've considered all the options before you make that important final choice. And this one, the veins will be going left. This right. always takes you too long. After all, this is going to be a major focal point in the room when we are finally done. And I'm never going to change it. So I want to love it. I probably just took a photo of the top of my head. Amazingly, I didn't. The interesting thing about this is it sort of has some granite effect to it, right? Like it feels sort of like the granite that you might see around. This is your vote, Tony? I like that one. Girls, you need to vote. You can choose this one. Yes. Or you can choose the Taj Mahal. Or do you choose... The first one. The first one. And that's what you choose. That's what I choose. Is that what you choose, Julio? Everybody chooses yeah. that. Woo! Okay. And what Let's do just you go. choose? 
looks like I'm going to be choosing what everybody else is choosing. This is live polling happening now. The white Marobas. Macabas. Macubas? Say it again. Macaubas. White Macaubas. Okay, this way. This is how we I go. I completely butchered that. Yeah. So this is approved? I always say that there's never a dull moment when you're renovating. So today is the last install. The very last thing to do is putting the marble on the fireplace and we're so excited about it. Um, so we were talking about a couple of different locations where we would meet the truck and how we would get them to the island because what we're dealing with is some really big slabs. The largest one is four feet wide by nearly eight feet tall. So that's a little tricky to transport. A, because it's a piece of natural stone. B, because it has a big hole cut in it to fit around the front of the fireplace. And C, because if it breaks, we have to start all over again. So long story short, there was a bit of a miscommunication and Mark, our installer, the truck and all the slabs have transitioned across a very bumpy gravel road for nearly an hour to end up at the marina that doesn't have the water taxi that I booked. So we now have the choice of what do we do? Do we try and find a new water taxi that has not yet been arranged? Do we send them back all the way back along that bumpy gravel road to the marina that the water taxi is waiting for them at, or do we get it ourselves? All of these are really fun problems. And I feel really bad, because Mark drove a lot longer than he needed to. The good news is, if we can make it work from the marina that they're at now, it's a closed boat ride. So with any luck, we'll have them here soon. But we have 1,100 or 1,200 pounds of stone to move and I don't even know if there's a barge there that can take it. Stay tuned, let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna go make some phone calls. And the phone calls paid off. You made it. Daisy, are you supervising this install? Icing the cake, Mark. Icing the cake. Okay, it's all your side. How's it going there, guys? It's going great. It's going well. So I'll just uh, stay here then, shall I? That's right. <laughs> That's right. This is why I grew my hair long, Sarah. Yeah? Very handy to have this cushion. But what happens after today? How did the kids do on their selection? Your daughters chose this. What do you uh, think? And your dog. Oh, and the dog. This is the one the dog chose. <laughs> well, Daisy's done very well. I mean, it fits brilliantly. Colors are great. Great Georgian Bay. 